Um, well, here is Josh T. PSA. Well, hello. Hello. How are you? Well, I'm better now that you're here, Janice. <laughs> it's fantastic to see you. And I was absolutely uh, mesmerized. Oh, your you guitar... said that to all the boys from Texas, I bet. That's 70%. But um, your guitar playing, uh, that, that's what had me mesmerized. Oh. Where did you learn and how to play like that? At the learning place. Was that home? It sure was. In your bedroom? bedroom. <laughs> all alone. I no one to play with, so I to play with myself. As most dads do. And, um, I taught myself. I had a couple lessons. Uh, my mother's friend taught me C, F, and G. Where have all the flowers gone? That kind of crap. And uh, I took it from there and just taught myself. Because over here, I mean, I taught myself how to play guitar, but I don't play it anymore. But um, it was House of the Rising Sun. Well, that, that was, was one of the, the first. Yeah, you know, was one of the first ones I learned to. I guess it was everybody's. And that's the East Side. Oh, I don't know. I don't speak forward so much. Uh, there's something weird in there. CF, and then there's like a D. I don't know. Working out. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah. That was. Yeah. Because you were. Taught playing. myself. You want to play guitar? I should be a lot better than I am. I've played I played for 25 years, but I, this feels more like 15. I don't speak chord very well. I can play what I know, that's pretty much it. No, the other instruments? Uh, no, I don't. And um, so life in Texas, because you were telling me earlier that you were brought up, it was your mum was it, that brought up you and your sister. Yes, she brought us up, and brought us down. She did pretty good, she did the best she could do. And what did she make of you wanting to go to music? She hated it, she cursed the day. Uh, she bought a guitar for me to get back with my dad. Uh, it's true. He, he was living in Alabama and we weren't allowed to see each other and play child support so much at that time. But he bought this guitar I could have if I moved out there. And I think I was 12 or 13 and, and I really wanted that guitar. Anyway, uh, she caught wind and, and, you know, it, and it didn't happen, but she got a guitar to get back at him, I think, for the Alabama guitar. Uh, I want to play badly, and I do play badly, so. So getting the guitar, was that the best thing that happened to you? Do you think that actually changed your life? Well, no, it is the best and worst. It's a, you know, a blessing and a curse. It's the best and the worst thing that ever happened to me, I guess. You just spend days and days on him alone in the bedroom. That's the only place you want to be. That can be good and bad, so. But I read about you, and it... it you know, they say there's a lot of heartache, there's been a lot of heartache in your life. Well, there's been some, it's all relative, but uh, life is hard. Yeah, these are definitely adult songs. Uh, nothing easy about them. Not, not for the week apart. Unfortunately, it wasn't my intention to. I have 10 years passed since my old man would have come out with a heartbreak record, but um, it's light. It throws you a curveball. It seems to be doing good for people out there thus far. I'm still surprised. We, we've been, I've toured for about nine months straight, and uh, you know, you go on the road thinking it, it does good for people. And so I think it's, it's from what the response has been seems to be uh, good, and it's, it's cathartic for, for you as well. So, um, you certainly seem to be making um, inroads here, and you spent a lot of time here, haven't you? Yeah, in London. Uh, yeah, I spent more time than I like here. What uh, don't you like about it? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. I love London. It's great. <laughs> it's my favorite city. I've seen you lying to me. No, no, no. I love it. It's, there are far worse cities in London. But uh, it's a little gray. It's a money town, you know. It's like New York. It's a money town. People are tough. There are sharks here. It's a soggy dog kind of town. And, uh, you don't have the space as a lot of towns do to afford you certain uh, luxuries such as self-reflection and those sorts of things. Uh, we got a lot of space in Texas, so I'm a bit more used to that. I don't know if 
they design the tubes here on purpose to make them as small and claustrophobic as they can. They do a good job. If it's to keep people out, then they've succeeded. <laughs> um, last to the country, um, gentlemen, is uh, the album. And uh, is another one, um, you know, in the planning stages, have you already written for the next album? I've got several. Uh, whether or not they come out, I, I have no idea. I, the 13th is the last show. Um, and I've I've got some shit i got to take care of, and I don't know if it's the last or first shall be last or last should be first. I, I, I've got plenty of songs that I've gathered the last, the last wiles of life, last gathering spells. Uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I wish I couldn't be. I wish I could just throw them out there, but I've seen a lot of the world now. I, I don't think I see much more of it. It seems, it seems to be doing good and as far I've been a little healthier than the last 10 years. So. We'll see what happens. Uh, if it affords me the luxury of staying in this wonderful city, boy, God, I hope so. <laughs> On that note, Josh T. Pearson, just give us a flash of your belt. Flash the belt, flash the belt. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's a family show. <laughs> Josh T. Pearson. Wow. Thank oh, you. Thank you. <laughs>